guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at my PlayRail Custom Shooting Star Gordon. Let's take a look. Alright, so here is Shooting Star Gordon in all his glory. Now, this is a PlayRail engine, so you can tell it has a lot of great details, um, lots of cool details along the sides. You have the beautiful silver uh, stripe going all the way through. It's just a really, really cool model. On the front, you'll see that you have the open space on either end, so for the little walkways, you have the great CGI face, the headlamp detail, very, very cool. On the other side, you'll see again that great stripe going down, basically the same. On the back, you'll see where I've done some modification. I've painted the buffers on the back of this tender. There's the back of the engine. And then here's a look at the front of the tender. Now, if you look at the tender, you can see I've actually cut out the plastic and then painted it black underneath. And then I took and I added fake coal. Um, so it gives it a really nice look to it. You can see it just looks great with that loose coal inside. Here's the bottom of the engine. All right, now let's take a look at, oh, well, I will say this is a two-speed engine, which is one reason I want to get this engine. You see, that's the normal speed, and then you have the fast speed, and Gordon, our shooting star, is an express engine. So that's something really cool to have. Very, very neat. All right, now let's take a look at the coaches. So I wasn't planning on making modifications to shooting star Gordon on the coaches, but... When I found them secondhand, they were scratched and they had some scuffs. So I repainted the roofs in uh, gloss black. I repainted the underframes in black, nice glossy color to match the plastic. And then I added plastic into the windows to give it a nice touch. The buffers are painted with a flat black, so that way it doesn't stick out as much. Um, originally those buffers were, I believe, were unpainted. Here's the other side. There's the back. And then here is a look at the top of the coaches. And you'll see that nice shiny reflection it gives it, it gives a look of new coaches and then here is the bottom all right so i am very pleased with how this custom turned out i think it's just really cool um i was very lucky enough to find it for a pretty good price and like i said i've been wanting shooting star gordon in track master for a while and i have a track master 2 version and it's not bad it's just i really like the play rail version number one for the extra speed in the motor and number two just for the little bit of extra details you know the um the length of the model, um, the great details on the tender and everything, and also it was already a separate piece for the coal load anyway, so I was able to just remove that, cut the plastic off, and then add coal to it, where the Trackmaster 2 one I would have had to drill straight through it, and you know, that gets kind of messy. I'm not saying I won't do that in future, I just, I think this... Alright, now that we've seen this model up close, let's see this engine in action. We're going to see this engine running on my layout, so let's go! <laughs> The shooting star is coming through! 